Plus, let's estimate CO2 emissions from electricity usage. We'll call this part one. Electricity is measured in kilowatt hours. So KWH is how you'll see this a lot. So a kilowatt hour is a unit of energy that is equivalent to 1,000 watts of electricity used for one hour. Okay, and that should make sense because a watt, and then you go to kilowatt. So one kilowatt is the same as 1,000 watts. That's what that means. Now the national average emissions for electricity is 1.37 pounds per one kilowatt hour. All right, so the thing about electricity is that we need kilowatts and we need hours in order to be able to cancel this out. So this is kind of like a merging of kilowatts and hours and we need to make sure um, that we can put those together. All right, so let's do some examples here. Suppose you want to roast a chicken in a 3,000 watt oven for two hours. How much CO2 emissions will be called by preparing the chicken this way? Okay, we're talking about electricity. So now we're talking about 1.37 pounds per one kilowatt hour. Okay, so to, I, to do this, I need kilowatts and I need hours. What do I know? I know 3,000 watts. Okay, stop. How do I go from watts to kilowatts? Well, I know that 1,000 watts is one kilowatt. Get that in your head, you're gonna need that. That one kilowatt is 1,000 watts because that right there changes you out of watts and puts you into kilowatts and that allows the kilowatts to cancel out with the kilowatts. You need that. Then we also know that we're gonna do this for two hours. So two hours. Well, when I do that, that says, okay, that means the hours cancels out with hours. That's what I need. I need kilowatts to cancel out with kilowatts. I need hours to cancel out with hours. And then to go across, right, now we're gonna be in pounds. So I take 3,000 divided by 1,000, because it's in the denominator, times two, back to the top, still in the top, times 1.37. Remember, anything in the numerator, we multiply. Anything in the denominator, we divide. So 3,000 divided by 1,000 times two times 1.37 gives me an 8.22 pounds, LBs, of CO2. Let's move on to number two. Okay, now we're still making chicken, but now we're gonna use a 250 watt crock pot for five hours instead of the oven. We're basically doing a comparison here. So now we're going to check CO2 emissions from using the crock pot. Start the same way. We start with our watts, 250 watts. We don't wanna be in watts, we wanna be in kilowatts. So we say, okay, we're gonna take 1,000 watts is one kilowatt. We do that because then my watts cancel out. Great, remember I need kilowatt hours. How many hours are we doing this? Five. We are cooking chicken for five hours this way. So now you can see in the numerator, I have kilowatt hours for my units. So then our last step is saying 1.37 pounds is one kilowatt hour. So you can say, okay, the kilowatts cancel out with the kilowatts. The hours cancel out with the hours. That's the purpose. It's like a two-step cancellation there. And then we are in pounds, so we can go ahead and do our math. So we start with 250. We divide by 1,000 because it's in the denominator. Then we multiply by 5. We multiply by 1.37. And we end up with 1.7125 pounds of CO2. So you can see a large decrease from oven to crock pot. Well, now let's play with an Instant Pot. So this chicken can also be cooked in a 1,000 watt Instant Pot for just an hour. How much CO2 would be caused by this? Okay, same idea. We start with our 1,000 watts. We always start with watts. Then we change it to 1,000 watts is one kilowatt. We always change to kilowatts. Then how many hours? One hour. We always use hours. And then, 1.37 pounds is one kilowatt hour. The kilowatts cancel out with kilowatts. The hours cancel out with hours. And now I'm in pounds. So I take 1,000 divided by 1,000 
times 1 times 1.37. And I end up with 1.37 pounds of CO2. So when you compare, we had the oven that produced 8.22 pounds of CO2. We had the crock pot. Y'all, I love a crock pot. 1.7125 pounds. And then we have the Instant Pot, which we have one and I've never used it because it scares me. Um, 1.37 pounds. So if you're looking at most environmentally friendly, that's the Instant Pot because that is what produces the least amount of CO2. But if I'm cooking, I'm probably going to use the crock pot because I think crock pots are amazing and I love them. So this is Becky's choice. Nobody asked. This is the Instant Pot is the most environmentally friendly. The oven, well, that just makes your whole kitchen hot. Yep, that's it.